Hey Total MTG fans, it's Matt here today with an unboxing of the Dual Dex Elsbeth vs Kiora. Kindly donated from my friend Connor for me to unbox. And we will be doing a versus match with the Dex at the weekend, so look out for that video to follow. So without further ado, let's get this baby open. Do the top box. Out. So first of all, underneath we get a couple of deck boxes. Um, they don't hold sleeve decks, but if you're into having your cards without sleeves, not that I would recommend that. These are the boxes for you. Then we have a Magic the Gathering rules card. And then we have an Elspeth vs. Cura Jewel Dex um, pamphlet, which basically tells you how the decks work, a bit of the story behind them. And we will go on to the cards. So first off, we have two lovely Planeswalkers. We have Cura the Crashing Wave and Elspeth Sun Champion. Two of my favourite Planeswalkers, I must say. Um, Cura's abilities, um, plus one until end of turn. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to and dealt by a target permanent or permanent controls. Uh, the minus one, draw a card, play an additional card there in his turn. And the emblem is pretty awesome. At the beginning of your end step, put a 9-9 Kraken down. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. And Elsbeth, the famous Elsbeth. Uh, plus one is put three 1-1 one -one soldiers onto the battlefield. Minus three, destroy all creatures with power four or greater. And the minus seven is get an emblem with creatures you control get plus two and flying. Uh, look at that shine. Lovely artwork on these cards as well. So we will go into the packs. Start off with the Kiora pack. So we just have a look through the cards what we get. So we get a Scourge of the Fleet. That's a rare. Uh, Simic Sky Swallower, another rare. Inkwell Levian, then, if I can pronounce that right. Uh, Whelming Wave. Plasma Catcher. Plasm Catcher. Can't read the words today, I'm butchering the, butchering the cards today, guys. Uh, then you get an Omen Speaker. Uh, Calling Oracle, get a couple of them. Uh, Kiora's Follower. Untap another target permanent, pretty sweet card. Uh, Grazing Glade Heart, get a couple of them. Uh, Netcaster Spider, it's got Reach, get one, two of them. Man of War, the Jellyfish, get one, two of them. Uh, Law Scale Kotal, whenever you draw a card, you may put a 1 1 counter on Law Scale Counter, it's not bad. Get two of them. Then we see a Nessian Asp. It's a big 4-5. Surakar Banisher. Couple of them. A Sea Lot Monster. Nimbus Swimmer. Swimmer into the battlefield. Put X-1-1 one, one counters on it. That's a pretty sweet card. And then I think we're on to the land. So you get some Evolving Wilds. Uh, Temple of the False Gods. Then plenty and plenty of forests. And lots of islands. And what else have we got? We got an explore. You play an additional land this turn, draw a card. That's pretty sweet. A couple of them. Uh, accumulated knowledge. Four of them. Um, pill from reality. Return to a creature you control, to a creature you don't control to owner's hand. That's pretty sweet. The old time to feed. A couple of them. Explosive vegetation. Like this card, I put this in a lot of my EDH decks. Uh, search your library for up to two basic lands, then put them onto the battlefield tap to shuffle your library. An etherize, return all those creatures that are attacking you. Urban evolution, card draw, and then you get one of the 9 9 Krakens, which will be very handy if you get the Giora Crashing Wave. Get a couple of them. Right, let's have a look at the Elsbeth deck. See what we get. So, we start off with Precinct Captain, um, Gus Cloak Saviour, when a creature you control becomes blocked you may tap that creature and remove it from combat. 
Captain of the Watch, very good in the Soldier's Debt. All your soldiers get plus one one and get Vigilance. And when it enters you get another three one ones. Um, make them bigger with Dictate of Heliod. Flash that down to give them an extra plus two two. Decree of Justice, really like this card. Um, put X at, put X four four white angel creatures on the fly on the battlefield. Um, really sweet card. Generate those tokens. And then we get um, Ikatian Javelinas. I won't say that one again, get two of them. Uh, Mother of Runes. Kinsbale Skirmisher. Get a couple of them. Core Skyfisher, it's a pretty sweet card. Enters the battlefield, return a permanent you control to its own in hand. It's 2 3 fly for two. Um, veteran Armor Smith. Give your soldiers a bit more a bit more toughness. Get a couple of them. Court Street Denizen. White Kings Battlefield under your control. Tap target creature. Uh, standing Troops. Another veteran Swordsmiths. Uh, Banisher, Spree Banisher Priest. Can't speak today, guys. Um, when a Banisher Priest enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. Banisher Priest, very good card. Enjoy playing that in standard. Um, Gus Cloak Harrier. Get a couple of them. Uh, then a Gus Cloak Skirmisher. Um, Gus Cloak Sentinel. Loxeden Partisan. Get a couple of them. Uh, Gem Palm Avenger. Noble Templar. Big bug again. 3 6. On to some of the lands. We get Secluded Step, which you can also cycle as well to draw your cards. Um, plenty of planes. There we go. Lots of planes, guys. On to the instant. Um, Mortal's Ardor. Target creature gets plus one and gains lifelink. All important lifelink. Sunlance. Three damage to target non white. That's pretty sweet. Get a couple of them. Mighty Leak. Gives something flying and an extra plus two, two. Maybe to get that extra damage in. The old raise the alarm. Extra soldiers. Always good in the soldier deck. Another Soul Parry. Celestial Fair. Target player sacrifices an attacking or blocking creature. Uh, Dauntless Onslaught, up to two target creatures each get plus two, two, and end of turn. And then a couple of soldier tokens. So, if we have a look at some of the rares that you get in this, guys, go to where the rares are. Get some pretty sweet. Decree of Justice is obviously a very good rare. Um, put lots of 4 4 white angels down, and you can cycle the card as well. Um, Dictator Heliod, another good rare. Gives everything plus two two, and you can flash it out, get through that extra bit of damage. Maybe Captain of the Watch, essential in this deck, gives all your soldiers vigilance and get some more soldiers on as well when you play it. Gus Cloak, Cloak Savior, it's hard saying that one. <laughs> Whenever you get a creature card becomes blocked, you may tap that creature and remove it from combat. And essential in another soldier deck, the Precinct Captain. Um, look at the rares in the Cura deck. There we go. So you get Plasm Catcher, counter target spell. At the beginning of your next phase, you get some extra mana. Where was that spell's mana cost? Whelming Wave, return all the creatures to their owner's hand, except for Krakens, Lubins, and Octopus and Serpents, which would be pretty good if you've got your nine nines out. Also, we'll keep this guy out. He's got Island Walk, he's got Shroud, and he's got Trample, and he's 7-Eleven, the Inkwell. Very good. And Simic Sky Swallow, Fly and Trample Shroud. So you see, it's going to be pretty hard to kill these guys. And Scourge of the Fleets, when it enters the battlefield, return each creature your opponent's control with toughness X or less. Where X is the number of islands you control, which is probably going to be quite a few. Um, and of course, you get the two lovely shiny planeswalkers. Which are um, very, um, very nice art, very shiny, and very good for decks, and can be used in current standard decks. Um, these obviously decks are very casual, but they've got some you know, nice, nice money cards in. Um, I would definitely say it's worth, I think the retail I've seen it roughly is about £15, which, you know, to just get these two cards alone is, is pretty sweet. Um, anyway, guys, hope you like the unboxing of this so you can see some of the cards. Definitely reckon it's worth purchasing. Um, check out the video coming up soon of the Versus match, and um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.